Hello dear viewers. Last time I developed a little top-down Mars shooter which wasn't super incredible or relevant. This time I promise it is actually starting to get quite cool and promising and I think this could be one of my best games yet. Alright, so in the last couple of days I uh, changed up the level layout and added back the shadows because kind of cool and they might need fixes but for now I'll just leave it again because uh, I've had some sort of art style change ideas and I added an enemy spawner which spawns enemies. So if I just go in, uh, they should spawn soon enough. I also made the dash faster. I also made the enemy bullets blue and I made the melee ones faster. And I made the bullet dust blue as well. I also removed the health labels. I also made it so you can change the bullet color in the actual shooting component. Alright, so today I did a lot of stuff. So firstly, as you can see, I've added new art to the player, which I made in Inkscape. I've also added a HUD and enemy art for the shooter enemy and the grunt. And I added lots of gore effects and added weapon cooldowns. And I also made it so the player can die and will explode when they die. I also added projectile art. Then I made a dedicated alien projectile instead of just using the same bullet as everything else. I also made it so enemies don't shoot when they're off screen. And I also made it so that you can fire both weapons at the same time. And this is how the game looks now. As you can see, the gun has to reload. And you've got your hull integrity up here, which is health. And if I just let myself die, that will get blown up as the mech self-destructs. And the enemies stop moving, but the animation keeps playing, so I'll work on this a bit more in future. Alright, so I've been quite excited, because the game is actually starting to get quite fun. Even before I started adding sounds, it was just a blast, and instead of actually making any progress on the game, I'd just play the game for like half an hour. Which is a pretty good sign, I think, that this game has some promise. Anyway, so what I did today was I added these pickups, the money ones and the green ones are health ones. And you can see there's like a money counter which rolls up instead of just immediately setting to the new value. And I also added a little chromatic aberration effect when you get hurt, just so it's abundantly clear that it was you that got hurt and not an enemy. Because I found in my previous games it hasn't always been clear. And I darkened the enemy blood because it blended in too much with their normal bodies and it could get confused with projectiles. I also made the enemy projectiles have all these particles and trails so you can tell that they're actually projectiles and you can tell what direction they're going in because before you could barely make them out because they're just so small and it was really easy to get hit by them without realizing. And the chromatic aberration effects help as well. And I also made it so that when you blow something up, there's a flash and the screen brightens, and the effect is reduced if the explosion was further away. But if it's right here, it's quite bright. I also made it so that the player death works. It's n not incredible, but there's like gibs and an explosion and effects and chromatic aberration, and the enemies actually stop their animation now. I also made a subtle vignette, which you can kind of see around the edges, but it's very subtle because I thought if it's too strong it'll kind of ruin the art style I'm going for. I also made it so that weapons spread evenly when you shoot them. So instead of having a random spread, they're always at the same ratio from each other, so you get the same nice weapon spread every time when there's multiple projectiles. I also increased the minigun spread so it kind of waves around like this at the bottom as it goes further away. It's just a bit more realistic and probably a bit more fair, so you can't get pinpoint shots with the minigun. I also made this thing called a visibility component, which is a little good old, like visibility notifier 2D, which makes it so that when an enemy is off screen, they're invisible and not rendering, which you can't tell because as soon as they're on screen again, they are visible. But it will be sure to increase performance, although I haven't started having any performance issues yet, but in future it will help for sure. I've also sorted the Z order properly, so nothing is in front of anything, like these gibs are behind the rock. Uh, nothing is in front of anything it shouldn't be, and it's all ordered right. 
from top to bottom. I also reduced the player cooldown because it just was impossible to die before. You had to wait five minutes before they could kill you. Now you can actually take a bit of damage, but once you get all the health pickups like that, which is super satisfying to pick those up. And also they'll fade away if you don't get them for long enough. But if you pick them up in the nick of time, they'll stop fading away. And that's all I did without the sounds. And then towards the end of the day, I added a sound pooling system, which has a set of audio players, both 2D ones with positional audio and global ones that play globally. And I made it so that you can query a request with the audio pool and it will put through the sound. And if this sound is already playing, and it's within 0.1 seconds of the last one playing, it won't play the sound. Because what was happening was originally, if you shot the rockets, there'd be three explosions in the same spot at the same time, which was stupidly loud and sounded awful. So now it'll only play one of those sounds. But if it's a bit staggered, so there's one half a second later, it will still play that. And I also made it so that if all of the audio players are full, it'll pick the one that's furthest along and empty it and replace it with the new sound that's been requested. It's really cool, really cool system. So it means I can just add sounds really easily without much hassle. And I'll play it with the sounds. They're not final, but there's a few. Got a minigun sound. Sound. And an explosion sound. And a gib sound. I kind of made the explosion sound myself, but I used a bit of a sample off of free sound for the meat of it. But for all the bass, I did that with some See, I think the sound effects are nice so far. They're not perfect, but they're nice. Alright, so today I added a bunch of polish and sound effects, and... Uh, made the death a lot better and made all the enemies react to death properly and wander off. I added player hurt sounds. I also made these guys stand further back to shoot. And these are the effects I added. I made the screen get all pixely and staticky and have this like hull integrity critical blinker. And they'll all wander off once you die which is a bit more realistic than before and they just kind of stood there creepily. And as I'm sure you noticed, I added a lot more sounds. I cleaned up the Gatling gun sound and the rocket going sound. I also added these bullet impact sounds. And when you hit stuff, it also makes a bullet impact. Also, once the enemies walk off screen, they get deleted, which is good for performance. And here is the little shader thing I've got going on for all the different effects. So I coded my own little distortion shader, and the lower it is, the more crazy it gets. And it's just based on some Perlin noise. And I, yeah, I have the chromatic aberration shader as well, uh, which I use for when you get damaged and the flash shader for when there's a bomb. They're very cool. All right, so I didn't do heaps today. I just rebalanced a lot of the sounds and added a dry fire sound, reload sound, money pickup and health pickup sound. And I made the minigun more quiet and added the dash sound. So here you can hear the dash sound. And I added multiple gib sounds as well. reload sound. There's some of the gib sounds. And the dry fire sound. Alright, so today I added an idle sound component, which is currently on the grunt enemy, and you can choose the time between idle sounds, the chaos, so the sort of amount of randomness in the time it takes, the ID of the sound, how many variations of it there are, so it'll pick between the different versions and add it onto the ID. The pitch of the sound, the bass pitch, and then the pitch variation range, as well as the sound volume in decibels. I also mixed some of the sounds and reduced the volume of some things, made other things louder. 
I also added a difficulty handler script, which changes the intensity and difficulty with a bunch of equations and changes the spawn rate on the enemies. I also made in the health component an option for enemies to explode on death, how much damage it does and what faction the explosion is for, so that in future I might have an enemy which explodes when it dies so that it's a bit more dangerous. And I added a signal emitter objective, which is what I actually made the explodes on death check for. And yeah, so this didn't do anything, but then I added an objective handler object, which you can set the objective type, the difficulty from one to three, so that might be like each mission has a randomized difficulty of that mission and it it will be something diegetic and canonical, like it'll say the alien ferocity. So it might be like, ferocity is savage, so then you know it's a hard level. And there's also the time before start to account for something else I added, which is dialogue and sort of mission objectives. There's also a little compass arrow. Anyway, so here you can see the dialogue. Just some temporary kind of character names and just dialogue for the point of it. This probably isn't even close to final dialogue, it's just a test. And then you get the arrow marked on your map to the first objective, which is right there. I'll make them spawn further away later. Yeah, at the moment, they spawn sort of all over the place. It's not very good. And then he mentions he'll add the next compass on the map. I also improved the dash, it's a bit more smooth, it's less janky, but it's a bit too fast now because of that, so I'll probably make it slower so you can't just outrun everything. Also the rockets track to the objectives, which is good, so you can still use those on it. And sometimes you get them spawning next to each other, which isn't ideal, so that will be fixed later on. I also added this alien shoot sound, and their idle sounds, which you can hear. they actually make sounds now when they shoot at you and when you're done it says that's the last of them and then he tells you to head back to the LZ for pickup and it directs you back there but there's actually nothing there so you won't actually get picked up the idea is that once you get here it will pick you up and that's the end of the level anyway that is all for today enjoy